My 2015 Polaris Ranger H EFI won't start. The battery spins the engine vigorously. There is fuel in the tank. With fuel line disconnected at top of tank, approximately. One cup of fuel is pumped out each time ignition is swift on. This flow can, however, easily be blocked with my thumb on the spout. The park plug gap is correct. The ignition is sparking. Any further fault finding suggestions? Thanks in advance. Gordon. The injector makes a good spray pattern. Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. I don't know at all, but maybe together we can get you a satisfactory answer. Fuel pressure with the EFI system, is high pressure and is 58 PSI plus or minus 2 pounds per square inch. Sounds like your fuel pressure is way down from what it should be. Fuel pump has to have at least 7 volts to pump, from the ECU. But you say injectors are spraying? With spark and fuel, engine should crank. Will engine run on starting fluid? I will have to get starting fluid to check if it starts and also measure measure fuel line pressure. With the injector out and everything else coupled, it appears to make a good spray pattern. Could the pressure still be too low in spite of this? Yes, the high pressure has to fill the fuel passage, or the injectors do not vaporize the fuel properly. Thanks, I'll have to go and check it. We'll report back later. Okay, thanks. Fuel pump pressure measured, 56.6 pounds per square inch winds engine start spade into the intake, after removing air filter, while cranking engine, no effect. Is there anything else I could check? I assume you have compression? This is twin engine? 800 cc? Did engine quit under use, or worked one day, but not the next? Well, I don't really know about compression, except it was running very well until it suddenly would not start. At least it is still sucking air in. I'll have to make a trip to get a compression tester. It's the single cylinder engine of the Ranger ETX. I think 320cc. I did not quit under use. I equals it. If you hold finger with rag over spark plug hole and crank, will it move your finger? I'll try that. I'm not sure if my finger is long enough, though. I will get back to you. Thanks. Maybe stuck valve or push rod off. My finger was much too short, so, I tapered the end of a dowel and stuck it into the plug hole while cranking the engine. It was easy to prevent any blowout, but when I release the pressure it gives a puff. Do you think I should do a compression test? What reading should it give? Either test with gauge or remove the valve cover and check the valve action. Either way, I would check the valves. Will do. I see this is overhead cam engine, so it has a timing chain to the upper camshaft gear. Toy could have chain problem, we it has jump time. Has to be mechanical if you have spark and fuel. The timing chain is taut and, from the top, everything appears to be working perfectly. I suppose the next step is the compression test. Yes, need around 100 pounds per square inch. Thanks. 
I'm organizing a compression tester. Here in Africa, things don't always happen quickly. Okay. If spark, fuel and compression, I'm thinking the timing is off. Thanks Curtis, I'll let you know when I have further info. Okay. Any update? I'm still awaiting delivery. The first compression tester that was lent to me was defect. Okay. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.